one more Kona Sutra that I bought last fall for this ride. It's more of a touring bike. It's fairly heavy. I think I started out bike and load was around 40 pounds. I've since uh, stripped down a little bit. Still have my rear panniers. Um, good thing is the weather's been great. So today I took the chance and left my rain gear behind. That saved me a pound or so. But the hills, there's really not any hills so far. The, the more north you go, I think the hillier it gets, but nothing compared to the Ozarks so far. I think yesterday was a 77 mile day and a little over a thousand uh, cumulative feet of gain is flat in my book. A lot of wildflowers. Really been enjoying the wildflowers and seen a few animals. So I just passed mile 276. But I was telling you about the people uh, from from uh, Pennsylvania, Ohio. I have some people from Boston, a whole family of three. Um, I don't know, Kentucky, North Georgia, I mentioned that one. And uh, one of the leaders is from Juneau and one from, uh, I think he said Idaho Falls. One from Fort Collins, Colorado, and I probably missed a few, but uh, Ohio, Chicago. Anyway, uh, ages from uh, oh 20 something on up to 70, and uh, me being uh, 61, I think I'm probably right about the median age average age of the whole group uh, so it's that's a plus because uh have a lot of things in common yeah one quick correct correction on that last video uh, the family of three from lake george new york didn't mention that however the daughter that joined up with them uh is currently in uh, jackson wyoming so we're kind of spread out, that's the point. We all come together in Nashville on uh, last Saturday. Van Took the van down to Natchez. In my personal opinion, that was probably the, the downside of the whole trip, if there is one. Uh, 15 people in a van pulling a trailer. But it was good, some good talk and uh, kind of the beginning of a, a bonding process, I guess.
Katie. Are you making a salad? I'm chopping vegetables for dinner. <laughs> haven't gotten a and salad part yet. Is it a surprise meal? Surprise we don't know. Only? No, yeah. we can tell you. Go with the surprise, Katie. Okay, so we're missing <laughs> surprise. the cheese. <laughs> See, remember what I said about the heavy Vita? <laughs> I might have a heavy needle, but nobody in my house listens out. to me. Oh, I don't think. Oh, this has known you for three or four days. He already knows all my life stories, too. <laughs> Maybe not all. Come on, so Dad. I'm, you, this is a competition here. You're on, you're on GoPro, man. <laughs> <laughs> Here I am on the Natchez Trace. I think we're on uh, day five, somewhere about the 273 mile marker, just north of Tupelo, headed north towards Nashville. It's been a great ride. Met a lot of great people with this adventure cycling group. We camped last night, night before we stayed at a B&B &B in French camp, a very nice place with good food and uh, kind of a historic area. So no problem so far. Wished I had uh, used some smaller tires. So far the whole trip is asphalt. So I'm usually lagging behind everyone, but Hey, I'm not in a hurry. A lot of uh, interesting artifacts and kiosks. Uh, stopped at the visitor center near Tupelo, all five miles back. There goes a ranger checking on me. They give you the whole lane here for bicycling. Obviously, some of the uh, some of the people driving don't realize that. I've had very few try to squeeze me off, but there will be that. Most of them stop if there's no oncoming traffic, or um, you know, if there's just no way around, they'll slow down and follow you for a ways until they can get around you. But there's always the exception. Okay, here we are, Tom Big B Waterway. Looks like a man-made thing. Uh, if we pan back over this way, you'll see that it is. There's a dam or a lock or something. Starting to warm up out here, maybe 81, 82, something like that. I'm kind of feeling it for the, the northerners. use a wild word I don't think that's politically correct but anyway they're probably feeling it I'm just getting up to operating temperature here uh, humidity's not bad and you can see the clouds are just
Try this again. I'm in the Grand Trunk hammock with a mosquito net. Pretty bright light, as you can see how it looks. So I thought I'd take a minute and talk about our group a little bit. I'm kind of on the easy section here. Getting close to a water stop. But most of our group, there's 13 in our group, plus the two leaders. That would be Pete and Alice. Great leaders, by the way. Most of our group is from the northern part of the, the country. I think I'm the only southerner. There's one honorary southerner because he's been living in Georgia for a while North Georgia that counts but uh, a lot of nice people a lot of uh, diversity and culture and that sort of thing accent uh, cuisine all that that's what makes it nice you get a chance to uh, you know experience some different different things that's what this is all about if you're watching this and you're wondering if you should do the Natchez Trace, the answer is yes. And you should do it by bike. Cars are too fast, you missed a lot of stuff. Uh, motorcycles maybe, uh, depending on you know the time of year probably. But cycling of course is, is weather dependent also, but it's a slow enough pace you can see some things that you just you would miss otherwise there's no doubt you would miss them i try to catch every interpretive sign and an area so that's one of the reasons i came especially in civil war uh, interest Well, I think we're on day six and uh, just crossed the Alabama line. It's getting a, you know, a little different terrain, maybe gradually, uh, more hills, nothing too serious. Had a great night at Tishomingo State Park. First night to use the hammock, the Grand Trunk hammock with the rain flying mosquito bar best sleep so far but I wanted to share this today's Good Friday and as I've been riding this morning I've just been thinking about the awesome the awesomeness of that it's kind of hard to wrap your head around it but I just thank God for his son and I thank Jesus for his obedience on the cross and I pray that uh, every day I will remember what he has done and the forgiveness he's given me through that. And I'll try to be more like him. Just kind of a confirmation today of how uh, God's creation works. One of my favorite symbols or whatever has always been a bald eagle uh, about three miles back. I saw a bald eagle flying right down Bear Creek and uh, just gave me a big old Holy Goose, Holy Spirit goosebumps. So uh, anyway, it's gonna be a great day.
Little Swan Creek Road. It's the last day on the trace. It's a Saturday, the day before Easter. I just passed the 427 mile. Uh, the end, the last mile marker is uh, 442, so not much farther. Beautiful day. We've had great weather the whole week. We've got a tailwind right now. So I'm pretty sure the whole group's out ahead of me. I like to stop and see things. They like to go fast. So anyway, signing off. Thank <laughs> you.